What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Recently some news broke that Best Buy was going to be exiting the physical media industry altogether when it comes to movies and Blu-rays and DVDs. And I made a short about it yesterday talking about how this is not a great sign for the future of video games either. But right now it's strictly centered around movies and that kind of entertainment. Video games are still being sold at Best Buy, but there's a lot of concern here and a lot of it is justified because if movies start going away, what's the next logical step? Smash JT. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like and check out smashjt.com for the full article and breakdown of what this story actually is. But for the information in this video, I'm going to talk about some brief overview, where it comes from, the sources, and my thoughts on the situation. So first off, this story comes to us from a website called thedigitalbits.com, and to be quite honest, I've never heard of them before, but it was shared by Wario64 on Twitter, who's a fairly legitimate source, and per thedigitalbits.com, they had said that they confirmed this with multiple sources, that Best Buy will be exiting physical media Blu-rays and DVDs as soon as quarter one, 2024. What does this mean for video games? Well, nothing right now, but the future looks a bit more glim. If you've browsed the aisles of Best Buy recently or gone to your local Best Buy, checking out what they have to offer, you may have noticed that there's a lot less supply and in inventory. A lot of people are chalking that up to oh, the pandemic and supply chain issues and maybe it's just not anything good to buy so Best Buy is just limiting what they're selling. But the reality is Best Buy has been losing the pricing war to Walmart and Amazon and even Target for the better part of the last decade to the point where they're actually potentially losing money on this sector of what they sell and it doesn't make sense for them to continue selling it. So while physical media may be going away from Best Buy, it doesn't mean it's going away everywhere. But there is something to be concerned about with that because we're not in the glory days of the physical media anymore where everyone's selling it and everyone's making money and you know a, a raising tide raises all ships. It's No, this is a problem. If one of them goes down, it's not like the other one makes way more money. It's kind of like sinking ship and then there's another one sinking and then another and then you get to the point where physical media is all but gone. And even though I'm specifically talking about movies right now, it doesn't mean video games aren't being come for next. Hell, even when you go to your local Best Buy or Walmart or Target right now in the video games section specifically, it's like barren. I check my local Walmart every time I go there and I feel like half of the display case for the Switch games and the PlayStation 5 is like empty and never being refilled or replaced. The Xbox on the other side barely has anything because Microsoft started making this transition years ago. They want people on Game Pass. They want people to transition to digital. They want to sell more digital items to people. They want to make it less incentivizing for stores to sell these things because if you can sell a game for full price digital, $70, and not have to give a slice of the pie to the store, to the logistics, to the trucking company, to everyone involved in it. If you just have to sell it directly on your store, you can make all the money in the world and have no competition. Now the problem comes in with video game inventory levels being at what feels like, at least with the eye test, at all time lows. And when you go into these stores and can't find the game, or they only get supplied one or two copies at launch and it's gone instantly, you have far less incentive to want to return to that store in the future. And a lot of people just start throwing their hands up saying, ah, I'll just buy it digitally. I'll be able to play it at midnight, not have to wait in line at the store and not have to worry about all this other stuff. I can just have it on my console and no problems will be there. And that's exactly what these game companies want. I'm not saying digital is like absolutely terrible. I mean, I buy some digital games as well for the convenience, for the I can't get this anywhere else, for the I like to be able to have it on two different Switches and only buying one of them. And I can even say that with Tears of the Kingdom. I bought that, well, I have it physically as well because I like to collect stuff like that specifically. But I bought it digitally so that I could have it at midnight right away with no problems. And also my son has his switch and he can play it on his, I can play it on mine. If I turn the internet off on the main switch, 
he can play it on his. I hope Nintendo doesn't watch this. But we can get around the barriers where we can both play it at the same time on our Switches, only buying one copy. And while it's a pain in the butt trying to get around Nintendo's specifically digital ecosystem, there are ways around it where it is actually far more convenient than having a physical cartridge. But the downfalls come in when you can't sell it, you can't make your money back, you can't trade it in for anything. And if the console 10, 20 years from now, the store gets taken down and the console breaks and you don't have another way to return it or get it again, it's gone, lost forever. But then again, especially I learned out with my Xbox, the original Xbox, the disk drive burned out on it. So all my disks are basically useless unless I can get my disk drive working again. And I'm much more inclined to just try to get it hacked and be able to play the games on it that way because let's be honest, it's just easier, you know? So there are benefits and drawbacks to the whole physical and digital debate, but there's a place for physical. And the problem with Best Buy removing all their physical media when it comes to movies specifically is that the next step in the process is video games. And then the next step is companies have all the power, have the EULA, the end user license agreement, where you have to sign what they want you to do if you want to play their game, and they basically own it, they just give you the license to play it, and at the end of the day, you don't own anything, and they want you to be happy about that. But it's not just Best Buy not selling the physical media in their stores anymore, they're also not selling it online anymore, which is kind of wild to me, because you would think they'd at least have a warehouse and stock these things to be able to sell them in addition to other things that they sell. People can just throw them in their cart, buy them day one, and be good. But Best Buy clearly isn't making the money worth it to have them anymore. And if that's the case, what does that say about online physical media video games being sold from Best Buy in the future? And then when Best Buy stops selling those, who's next? And then you look at the game consoles coming out and what they even have available, the PlayStation 5 Slim that just got announced, coming without a disk drive that you can buy a disk drive on and attach it separately, which is great. But like I said in that video covering that, it just spells doom for the future of physical media because it's the direction these companies are going where they used to have it all in one, now they have it separate where you can attach it, and the next one's gonna be just no option, just all digital. But at the same time, the market goes where the money is. And if there's enough holdouts in the gaming world to justify physical media existing, it will always be there in one form or another. And who knows, maybe this is just the ebb and the flow of the industry and right now it seems to all be leaning towards digital and maybe there'll be an ebb and flow where it comes back to physical eventually because there's a demand for it, a demand that far outweighs the demand for the digital. It all depends on market conditions and there's a lot more that goes into this than just the, oh, I want digital because it's convenient or, oh, I want physical because I'm a collector. There's a lot of factors in it and I think this story from Best by is let's be honest it's, it's a terrible story as far as the future of physical video games are concerned but it doesn't mean they're dead for sure it's just it's a big hit against them and hopefully there'll be some other story that comes up there's a ton of other companies limited run games uh strictly limited and all these other physical game companies play asia that sell these games specifically directly from their websites and maybe that's the direction of the industry and if there's a large enough portion of collectors out there to justify the purchases for these games then the game consoles will always have a physical option and if they don't that gives the upper hand to the other big two from the three that want to go physical if we'll say playstation goes all digital in the future and xbox goes all digital in the future and Nintendo is like, yeah, we're still doing physical. I'd be far more likely to purchase the Nintendo console first and use that as my primary console because of the physical cartridges involved with it. But that doesn't take into account a whole slew of other things like how the performance is on it, what the games are like on it, and if there's enough third-party support. There's, there's a lot of factors that go into it, but I think there's always going to be a reason for physical to exist. And while this story kind of sucks on the surface, right now that's really all it is. It's a bad look for the future of physical, 
but it's not the end. At least those are my thoughts on it. I wanted to expand more about it. Like I said, I made a quick short on this the other day talking about it, but I wanted to give my more well thought out opinions in this video. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about physical media being killed off by Best Buy, both in retail stores and online. It's pretty wild. That's a big move for a retailer that was basically known as one of the locations to go for that stuff is no longer going to be there anymore. I'm going to leave the video right there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, Jay, 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 Jay.